What's up everybody? I'm Zach. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a tour of the home gym. It is everything you see behind me. I got basically four pieces of equipment and then some accessories that I've gathered throughout the years. I'm going to talk about what it was like to set it up. I've even got some video footage of that. So I'll show you everything here, give you a tour, and let's jump right in. So we're going to start with the flooring. These are 25 bucks at Tractor Supply. They're, ho they're horse mats. They're the cheapest type of flooring you can get, but you got to have something good for your floors, especially if you're going to be dropping weights. I highly recommend these. I'm going to figure out how to keep these secure to the ground because they're moving a little bit, but I've loved them so far. So definitely recommend getting those. Leave them out in your driveway for a couple days because they do smell and then you're good to go. All right, next we got the Rogue Adjustable Bench 3.0. I've loved using this bench. It's pretty sturdy. It weighs about 125 pounds and it's got a really wide base here in the back. So I haven't noticed any movement when I'm using it for incline bench or regular bench or anything like that. And I think it's gonna hold up really well. Adjusting it's really easy. You just have to grab the bench at the top. You can pick it up, it'll slide and lock in at any one of these ladder points between I think 15 degrees all the way up to 85. I think it shipped in three separate boxes and once everything came, actual construction was a little bit tough, took me an hour or two, and you do need some pretty large wrenches and tools to get these bolts in. Other than that though, I've really liked the way that it works. It's super sturdy and it's been a great piece of equipment. Okay, next up is the power bar. This is Rogue's Ohio power bar. It's got a really, really aggressive grip or what they call knurling. I like that. It's got a center knurling as well, so it sticks to your back when you're squatting. I've really enjoyed using it. I went with just all black in a Cerakote finish, which is just a, a different finish on the metal to help protect the bar from getting scuffed or getting dinged when you're racking it, putting weights on it, dropping it, all of that. I've heard that these things are great. Rogue makes some of the best barbells in the industry for weightlifting and powerlifting and, and just working out in general. So I'm super excited to use this and it's been awesome for the few workouts that I've gotten to use it for so far. Next up are the bumper plates that I got. These are Rogue's color plates. They're not competition plates, which means that they're not quite as thin as they could be, but they're also not a fleck or standard rubber plate, which are a little bit thicker, but they are some of the better ones that you can buy. And for any other weights that I buy, I'll probably just buy some standard black plates, but I wanted to get these so that if I'm dropping them on the ground or um, using them for anything where they're gonna be touching the concrete, they won't damage them. And since I'm doing this in my garage, that's kind of important right now. Okay, last and definitely not least, probably most important, is the rack. This is Rogue's, one of Rogue's monster light racks, and it's actually a folding rack. So I'll, I'll put a little video in here showing how it folds and opens. It's super simple. You basically pull these orange pins out, pull off the pull-up bar, and then you can fold it into the wall. It'll fold either way, either to the left or right. And so that'll be really nice if Liz and I wanna pull the cars into the garage or anything like that. One thing I will mention is the J cups that the rack comes with, they're not great, they're okay, but they do have a couple of dings already after just a few uses, and I imagine that'll continue. Uh, Rogue does sell some other options, but it would have been nice for them to include something that maybe was a little bit more sturdy. Overall though, it's not the biggest issue and definitely not something worth complaining about. So I'm really excited to get this into use, start making videos with it, and show you everything that I plan to do with it. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up. This is the gym, I have my bench, my barbell, I got the rack and I got my weights. So those are the four basic things that I went with. It pretty much covers everything that I wanna be doing at home in a home gym. Um, I also have some bands and foam rollers and I even made a plyometric box. So there's some other things we have here that, that have just accumulated over years. Um, but these were the things that I knew I wanted to start with the foundation of the gym. So I can't wait. Please stay tuned. I'm gonna include some links at the bottom for all of this equipment if you wanna check it out. Um, I highly recommend Rogue, they're American made, and uh, they've got some really, really great stuff, especially barbells. So, um, tune in next week. We've got another video coming out. And uh, yeah, see you next week.